When it comes to feline hybrids, I'm sure most of you guys have already heard of the Liger or the Savannah Cat, but what if I told you these creatures are relatively normal compared to some of the absolutely fantastical and bizarre hybrid cats that we have managed to create? While some of these felines were made on purpose, others were made by complete accident. But what most of these hybrid cats have in common is that they essentially defy almost everything we know about mammal biology. Whether it's the Puma part or the Osima, each of these hybrids is incredibly unique and really shouldn't exist. So let's dive straight into talking about each and every one of these bizarre hybrids so we can figure out once and for all what is really going on. Even though it is a pretty well-known fact that tigers and lions could hybridize, the truth is that pretty much every single big cat can actually hybridize with each other. So tigers, leopards, lions, and jaguars are all capable of producing hybrid offspring, despite the fact that not all of them share the same number of chromosomes. It's even believed, based on genetic testing, that in the not-too-distant past, that some of these creatures ancestors would have naturally hybridized in the wild, potentially contributing to their genetic variability. Now though in modern day as far as we know of, no known panthera species hybridizes naturally in the wild, but despite some of them being separated by over 4 million years of evolution, they can still all hybridize in captivity. My personal favorite of all of these big cat hybrids is the jag lion. The jag lion is a mix between a male jaguar and a female lion. Lioness. Obviously this creature wouldn't occur in the wild, but because of how unique its many traits are and the story behind it, I can't help but blab about it for at least a little bit before we get to the more complex feline hybrids. Currently, the only known jag lion on display was created when a male jaguar broke out of its enclosure, and instead of deciding to pull a Jurassic Park where it would snack on all the local humans, it decided to instead break into the local lioness enclosure and... And got busy! This inevitably resulted in the creation of not one, but two jag lions. Interestingly enough, despite them both being siblings, they both share very different traits with their respective parents, on top of having some of their own unique traits. When it comes to what makes them unique, they both appear to have thicker coats than their respective parents, allowing for themselves to actually stay out and handle temperatures which can even go below freezing. While it's also hard to say based on just having two individuals available to examine, it can be inferred based on their size that these cats likely have a condition called hybrid vigor. This is a case where hybrid offspring tend to have superior traits compared to both of their parents. In the case of ligers, and likely these jag lions, it's their superior size. With ligers specifically, we know that they get larger on average compared to their parents because of the fact that their growth prevention genes failed to carry over into their offspring, allowing for these creatures to reach some absolutely massive size as a result. Unfortunately though, because of how genes carry over, in a lot of cases, many of these hybrids are lacking certain genetic traits that allow for them to survive for as long as they're pure-blooded brethren. Even though jag lions are typically more healthy than other feline hybrids, there's currently only one known jag lion left in the world on display. And unfortunately, it's starting to reach the end of its life. But at least we could learn a lot based on the two individuals that were put on display in the past and hopefully we can learn more about these magnificent hybrids in the future. Regardless, these massive and majestic jag lions are far from the only panthera hybrids that have caught my eye. While even less is known about them, the leopon could be argued as being just as interesting. While leopards and lions might look the most different on an external level out of all the panthera cats, they in turn are actually the most closely related of the five species. Even with their massive size and behavioral differences, the hybrid offspring created by these two creatures not just looks incredibly bizarre, but might actually occur in the wild. While no known panthera hybrid has ever been properly documented in the wild, there is one case of a leopon coat that was found in Central Africa back in the 1930s, which was allegedly from a shot wild individual, and it does perfectly match up with what would be expected from a lion-leopard hybrid. And what's even more bizarre is the fact that 
that three-way hybrid offsprings of different Panthera species have been created in captivity, which goes to show not just that these hybrids could be fertile, but it also shows just how complicated our definition of what is and isn't a species truly is and should be. Still, the Leopon is far from the most bizarre leopard hybrid out there. That title actually goes to the even more confusing Puma Pard. Believe it or not, despite their large size, the puma, American panther, mountain lion, whatever you want to call it, isn't exactly a true big cat. Pumas and cheetahs, despite being large felines, aren't exactly related to the tigers and lions of the panthera genus that much at all. They diverged about 10 million years ago, and because of that, they have many different traits that help to set themselves apart. They also only share about 95-96% to 96 of their DNA with actual true big cats, which for comparison, humans share about 99% of our own DNA with chimpanzees, and we only diverged from them about 7 million years ago. Despite this, even though a human-chimp hybrid is not possible, as if it was, that would be weird as f Regardless, some way, somehow against all odds, Puma Panthera hybrids actually have been recorded and do exist. The most well-documented of these, and also the most adorable of which, is the Puma Pard. Even though leopards and pumas do not really have that much in common besides being felines of a similar size, they do have the same number of chromosomes and the reproduction works pretty much identically to each other. Because of this, while no known Puma Pards exist in modern day, back in the 19th and 20th century, they were created somewhat regularly by roadside attractions, as they wanted their own unique little stars to draw in an audience. So despite these cats living on completely different sides of the world, they would end up breeding on multiple occasions in captivity. The end result would be multiple different puma pards, all of which were documented as suffering not from hybrid vigor, but instead from dwarfism when it comes to their size. On average, these hybrids were documented as being only about half the size of their parents, and unfortunately because of that, many health issues would follow. Already, less than half of these cats would survive any sort of significant amount of time after they were born, and the ones that did survive would end up having lifespans only half as long as their respective parents, and some of them would even have facial deformities. All of these factors combined pretty much explains why you probably won't ever see these cats appear again in modern day. Regardless, even though the puma part is the only confirmed panthera puma hybrid, there is actually another creature that has been reported. As they do share much of the same range, a lot of people, including myself, have wondered, what if a puma and a jaguar were to hybridize? Surprisingly, despite all the weird animal combinations that have occurred in captivity, a puma-jaguar hybrid is actually not one of them. Despite this, claims of people having shot jaguar-puma hybrids in the past have occurred, though currently there is no evidence for such creatures having ever existed. But even if a puma-jaguar hybrid is not possible, there is another hybrid feline that we do know for a matter of fact does exist, and is even weirder than this. Yes, believe it or not, ocelots have been reported breeding with pumas on not one, but multiple occasions. Sure, ocelots might be slightly more closely related to pumas than any of the panthera cats, with themselves diverging from each other at about 8 million years ago. The fact that this hybrid exists at all is even more shocking for one simple reason, the size difference. Female pumas can vary in size quite a bit depending on where they are found, but on average they can be at about anywhere from 80 to 150 pounds, while a male ocelot at its absolute largest is only about 35 pounds. Well, even with this clear size barrier, you know what they say? Life finds a way, and apparently on multiple occasions in captivity, male ocelots have been reported breeding with female pumas, creating what is known as an ocema. How they exactly do it, I don't want to know. But overall, this is incredibly interesting, as in the wild, pumas are actually known for preying upon ocelots. Regardless of this fact, this problem has been negated on multiple occasions with a variety of different feline species by raising two different species together from birth and captivity. This as a result allows for a bond to form between the two individuals, making the cohabitation of two different species a lot easier and the breeding of two different species possible. This is what's happened with a multitude of different hybrid felines, including the Asima. 
Interestingly enough, unlike the puma part, Asimas seem to be a lot more healthy on average, likely because their adult size is more in between that of both their parents compared to the puma part. On top of that, these cats are just absolutely adorable and are also very gorgeous as their coat is completely unique to that of both parents, with their coat typically having more of an orangey color. Whether you want to think of the result of these different cat species offspring as being contributed to human innovation or simply just the bonds between different species, you gotta admit it's all incredibly fascinating. Even while researching this video, I ended up running into plenty of other incredibly unique feline hybrids which I simply don't have enough time to talk about. Some of these incredibly unique creatures which you could look up for yourselves include the Caraval and the Tiguar. The Caravals are especially unique in that they are the result of Caracal's serval offspring and they are absolutely adorable. And yes, I think it's just as crazy as you do that these two cats, despite looking completely different from each other, are still capable of producing hybrid offspring. Sadly though, all of these hybrids suffer from varying degrees of health issues, and for that reason they typically have much shorter lifespans than that of their pure-blooded parents. Still against all odds, new feline hybrids seem to be popping up all the time, many of which truly do defy what we can expect from a typical hybrid animal. Whether good or in a lot of cases unfortunately bad, it really does seem like nature and humanity always finds a way to create some incredibly fantastical, but unfortunately some also occasionally deformed, but beautiful freaks of nature. Overall, what are your guys' thoughts on feline hybrids? I'd love to hear them down in the comments below. Now if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe because I try to make animal mini documentaries as often as I can, usually every week, and your guys' support means the world to me. So please like, subscribe, hit the little hype button thingy, and hopefully I'll see you real soon. Goodbye.